It's an Australian fucking tradition anyway. Hey? Okay? Look at Anzac Day, for Christ's sake. The whole country applauds a bunch of blokes who killed and tortured men, don't they? Why do they do that? Because they fucking deserved it, didn't they? We continue to look at the dark side of Australian suburbs with Snowtown, the 2011 feature film debut for director Justin Kurtzell. Written by Sean Grant, who's recently written the 2017 films Jasper Jones and Berlin Syndrome, Snowtown is based on a series of true life murders that occurred in the suburbs of Adelaide during the 90s. The case became known as the Snowtown murders or the bodies in the barrels murders as many of the victims were found in barrels hidden in an unused bank vault in nearby Snowtown, even though most of the murders took place elsewhere. While a number of men were involved in the murders and disposing of the bodies, the film focuses on two of them, James Vlasicus, played by Lucas Pithaway, and John Bunting, played by Daniel Henshaw. The film depicts James as a 16-year-old growing up in a very poor household with his brothers and single mother. His bleak life was made all the worse by being vulnerable to sexual predators within the community and his own home. James soon falls under the spell of John Bunting, who arrives in the community and begins to act as both a charismatic father figure and also a self-righteous vigilante, with a hatred for pedophiles and anybody else he regards as deviant. Get back in here now. I said fucking now. As the film unfolds, we see how John recruits James and others to the cause of murdering undesirables within the community, and how quickly that extends to homosexuals, drug users, and then people they simply don't like. It's a terrifying insight into how somebody like John could infiltrate a depressed and frustrated community to spread fear, hatred and bigotry, and to then normalise murder. The film's minimalist, throbbing soundtrack the stripped down improvised dialogue by the film's predominantly non-professional cast and the relentless depiction of the suburban bleakness and despair make Snowtown extremely grim viewing. However, this is not a film offering vicarious thrills from a safe distance, but a film designed to get under your skin. Shoot the dog. Go on, mate, shoot it. And part of the film's impact is how little actual violence is shown on screen, although when it is shown, it's really confronting. Most of the dread in Snowtown comes from the juxtaposition of the violent acts being carried out by John and his fellow outraged citizens and the everydayness of suburban life. I, I am glad to have seen this film and I think it's a film worth experiencing, but it's, it's a tough watch. Yeah. But I think the very bleak aspect of Snowtown is, is very appropriate considering it that when these murders were, were reported in the media, it was quite sensationalised yeah. and, you know, people were almost excited about the fact that Australia seemed to have its first major serial killer case, where this mm. film shows us that there's nothing glamorous or exciting or, or appealing or, or sexy about these crimes. They were as ugly as they get. Adam Arkapoor's cinematography is, is just wonderful in depicting the flatness of the suburbs and that sort of grey backyard with no grass and broken bikes but then in the moments when they get out of the city and they're driving to Snowtown there's the fields and the clouds and you know a wonderful soundtrack um, it, it's a visually interesting film it's not just you know playing it's playing it bleak and um, completely relentlessly flat the whole way through is it oh not at all it, it's a film of, of layers and textures and a yeah. lot of very talented people worked on this film and are you know continuing to make very interesting things now Snowtown, we won't pretend it's an easy watch, but it's very much a worthwhile watch.